What's going on everybody? I'm Jory Goodman, the time teller. It's now Friday. Thank God it's Friday. And I've noticed lately I've been making a lot of videos about dress watches. And speaking of dress watches, I'm currently wearing the Undone Mystique. Undone actually gave this watch to me recently. I literally just threw it on my wrist today for the first time. So standard procedure. I'm kind of going to wear this watch for a little bit and uh, kind of see what this watch is all about. And then who knows, maybe there'll be a video about this mystique uh, coming to you guys next week. But leave me a comment in the comment section. Would you like a review uh, about this watch? I think, I don't know, I think it's pretty interesting so far, but we'll see. Okay, so we're all bored of dress watches. So I think it's time to share my opinions about what I believe to be the best sports watch ever designed. It's 1.22 p.m. Let's get down to business. So are we gonna talk about the Rolex Submariner? Are we gonna talk about the Blanc Pond 50 Fathoms? Or are we gonna talk about my beloved Seiko Tuna? Nope! The best sports watch ever designed, in my opinion, is actually the Jega Le Coutre Reverso. Ah, I can hear it now. The Reverso isn't a sports watch, you classless heathen! Well, you're wrong! You see, in the 1930s, a Swiss businessman, Cesar de Trey, was actually in India watching a polo match when he witnessed one of the polo players smashing their watch's crystal mid-game. So he had an idea, and he actually took this idea to his buddy, Jacques-David Le Coutre, who we all know who that is, and they actually both set about designing a watch that you could flip over, thus protecting the watch's crystal from, say, a polo match. So it's actually really interesting, because the Reverso models that get the most hype nowadays are the duo time models that have the watch dials on both sides, and those actually didn't come out until a lot later. So the originals actually just had a metal case back that would, again, protect the watch if you were to play a polo match. And those metal case backs, although they may seem kind of boring, it was actually really cool because you'll find vintage reversos that were personalized with engravings of, you know, people's names or horses' names or family crests. It's just very intimate, and when you see those pieces, you know, it just blows your mind how much history went along with that piece. And so I know by today's standards, sports watch essentially means diver, but uh, I thought it'd be fun to kind of dedicate a video sharing with you my opinions and maybe some history on a non-diving sports watch. And uh, yeah, you guys know I'm a sucker for rectangular watches. Uh, the Reverso is quite dressy, so again, go crazy, use it as a dress watch. I happen to love the Duo Time models, um, and I'm actually going to be leaving links to my favorite Reversos uh, in my description below, so definitely check those out. And there's actually just a ton of different Reversos to choose from. You're definitely bound to find a spec that you'll like, from men's to women's to hand-wound to automatic. Just a ton of different complications and dials. It's just truly an amazing line of watches. So I don't currently have a Reverso in my collection, but mark my words, I will add a Reverso in this collection in the near future for you guys. But uh, it's not totally a grail. Like, it's not absolutely unattainable. There's just a particular watch that's been in my crosshairs that's just one step up on my list. And uh, yeah, fingers crossed and we'll get one here for you to review. And guys, I wanna thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this little history lesson. I'm sure I didn't teach you anything you didn't know already, but let me know in the comment section below what's your favorite reverso. I'd love to hear from you. And again, I wanna thank you for taking me well past 14,000 subscribers. I think we're like 14,200 or something. It's just, it's growing faster and faster and faster. And it's all because of you. So I wanna thank each and every one of you. And guys, if you're watching this right now and you haven't subscribed, please, Go ahead and subscribe. It takes one second and it helps me out a ton. And while you're at it, you can click that little bell icon so you do not miss an episode of The Time Teller. There's just so much more awesome content on the way. And you don't want to miss it, I'm telling you guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Share this with other watch enthusiasts, other people that you think would enjoy this. I'm Jory Goodman, The Time Teller. And always remember, I didn't invent time. I just tell it.